Hi, my name is Paul and welcome to Physics High and today I'm going to give you a very quick overview of the concept of binding energy. Being a short video, I encourage you to look at my longer video in the description below. Today, just the basics. Binding energy is the concept of the amount of energy required to break an atom into its constituent parts. Now I'm going to use an example to explain that and I'm going to use helium as my example. And I have two protons and two neutrons. In this case, I have a mass of my helium, which I'm going to call M1. I'm going to require energy to pull that apart because there's strong nuclear forces holding that together. I put energy in. So now I have my two protons and I have my two neutrons separated. And so now I can work out my mass of the individual parts. So my mass two ends up being my two protons plus my two neutrons. And what I discover is that my mass two is greater than my mass one. If I subtract the two, M2 minus M1, I get this change in mass, which we refer to as the mass defect. And that mass defect is the energy that I put into the system in order to break it apart. And so the idea of the binding energy is simply that mass defect multiplied by c squared. And so that's the energy I put in to break it up into its parts. It's converted into mass and that's a result why I end up getting a greater mass afterwards than I have before. And similarly, if I put my protons and neutrons together, I'm going to lose mass and that mass obviously gets converted into its binding energy. Now, since that binding energy tells us a little bit about the stability of the atom. The more energy I am requiring to pull it apart means the more stable that atom is. But I have a small problem, and that is my atom here is a small atom. Large atoms will have a larger mass defect and therefore require much, much, much more energy to pull them apart. So for example, uranium-238, 238 nucleons, I'm going to have a lot of energy, a lot of mass defect. So to understand the stability, what we want to do is not work out the binding energy, but the binding energy per nucleon. So we divide it by the number of nucleons and that gives us an understanding of how stable the atom is. So now let's talk about how we compare different atoms with different binding energy per nucleon. The graph looks something a bit like this. What this is saying is, is that the atom that is existing right here has the highest amount of binding energy per nucleon, and it happens to be iron. And over here, you might have uranium, and over here, you have hydrogen and helium. So that encapsulates the concept of binding energy. Please like, share, and subscribe. Put a comment down below if this is helpful for you. And consider supporting me by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. Take care, and bye.